Audio Jungle. This is a documentary video about a successful entrepreneur. She is Areej Al Ghattani. Areej is a creative and passionate Saudi Arabian entrepreneur who continuously demonstrates exceptional talent for developing creative businesses concepts challenging conventional models. A true Leo at heart, she has a flair for stimulating ideas that bring out the best in her non conformist spirit. A spirit that has been the driver in her success in constantly creating new business opportunities and ventures, especially in the retail marketplace. Arij is the founder and owner of Leo's Boutique, a unique retail concept in the region. Leo's is a modern and unique boutique that has all the chic and electric pieces from talented local and international designers. It is located in Khobar, a Turkey shopping center. She returned to the kingdom in 2005 after earning her bachelor's degree in business administration from the United States. This was the first time for her in Eastern region. She started a new position with the multinational food giant Nestle Corporation as a consumer services executive at 2006. With a modest beginning at 2006, Mrs. Erij began with a booth for aromatic creams at Tahran Mall. This was her first step in the business world. But for every beginning, there are stumble. First, because she is a Saudi woman in a society that does not accept the idea of women leading a business, so she faced many difficulties in hiring Saudi women employees. Second, competitors appeared with a similar product at lower prices and with poor quality. So, it took a lot of time to convince people that the quality of her product is better than competitors. The last problem was rental prices rise. Finally, she decided to close the booth. The concept of her boutique was a place that provides multi-brands. This idea came when Mrs. Arij visited a store in Dubai at 2007. She was impressed by the development of Dubai, then she knew that the store owner was with Saudi nationality. Then she wondered what were the reasons behind why she didn't open in the kingdom. She made a concept, a presentation, and complete identity for her idea that she would like to spread it out in the market as a department store similar to Debenhams and Max Spencer, but in simple and smaller way. She created a name, logo, identity, survey, and everything needed to implement the idea. She tried several times by contacting with a mall manager, but she ended up with a rejection because the mall manager did not understand her idea. Despite the difficulties, she never gave up, and she realized that it wasn't an appropriate time and the market wasn't ready for such an idea. She decided to delay the idea for a while. Actually, it was a period to study the market. The origin of her idea is obtained from the Western, but is in new locally. Because there are no similar projects in Eastern region, she decided to start her business in it. Her main objective was the quality, not the quantity. Also, she gave an opportunity for university students to apply for a summer job, which helped her to gain a good reputation. The most important thing that Mrs. Arij is caring about customer satisfaction and confidence in order to maintain the customers and build a loyal and profitable relationship with them. Some of the previous and current difficulties are First, the idea was new for the society, so it took a while until they accept it. Another thing that, difficulties of processing and preparing. One more difficulty was the financial difficulties, and difficulties of licenses and official papers. To complement the difficulties that she faced, the purchasing power of the eastern region was poor. On the other hand, the advantage is that Mrs. Arij followed the culture of mix and match, which means that she makes more than one idea under one roof. She compiled between conducting activities, lectures, and workshops in the same time, 
a place where shopping is a joy. Each section has its own story and personality. The biggest positive is that the idea is unique. The secret behind this is the power of the name, logo, and the identity is very clear. Also, she always cares about customer satisfaction and their comfort. Arit's boutique is not limited only for physical products. It is actually Leo's boutique and beauty lounge. The customer can either buy from the available products or choose from the salon services in the beauty lounge section. The beauty lounge section provides many services, include makeup, hairstyles, and nail spa. Leo's Boutique offer an exclusive multi-brand from Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Gulf, Arab, and International for the first time in the Eastern Province and the Kingdom, where Mrs. Arid sought and searched for all new and distinctive clothes, jewelry, accessories, leathers, and many more. She started planning for Leo's Boutique since 2007 and the first shop's opening was in 2013. This youth project took a lot of efforts, challenges and persistence until it became available for public in a professional way. This proves that Saudi energies and ability are trustworthy and creative. When she opened her boutique, the customers were asking if it's a branch from Dubai, which was a positive evidence, so that made her optimistic. Her vision is providing the answer for modern women who lead sophisticated and refined lifestyles and who wish to express their personalities through trendy but selective culture. Arit has a huge vision which is to support the local businesses in order to rise the economy of Saudi Arabia. She has several goals that she is working hard to achieve them. One of them is to make customer trust in Saudi products. The other one is to encourage the idea of recycling reals in Saudi Arabia. She would like to make the society support each other by action, not only by the word of mouth. Her dream is to reach global, and we strive for the renaissance of the homeland and become a pride for our country. Her advice for students of College of Business Administration and for anyone who wants to open their own business was, have a passion or vision and go for it. I fully believe that if you don't ask, you don't get. The first step for success is to ask. Don't feel embarrassed for asking, and we must have sufficient confidence in ourselves. Anyone who is passionate about starting a business can be successful if they learn how to incorporate the advice of others who have been successful before them. Just remember that you are your own best advocate, and when you follow your passion, you will truly be a successful entrepreneur. Finally, I hope that I left a footprint in your future, and I hope you will achieve your dreams. Always remember, when someone say, you won't do this because you're a woman, my advice, don't trust until you do. In the world of business, you either win or die. Okay, you may not actually die, but without the right habits, your corporate results will probably fall short of the mark. But how exactly do we make it to top tires as female entrepreneurs with family responsibilities and active private and social life to go with careers? Easily, we pick the cues from the best and use them to our advantages. Act on the idea and grow from there. Don't be afraid of failure. Success is built on trial and error. Be ready to work hard for the prize. Knowledge grows a business. Keep learning. Change is invaluable and certain. Don't lose yourself in the game. No matter what the situation is, whether you're single, married, have kids, don't like your job, or love your job, you need to be fulfilled. The only way to be happy is to be fulfilled. So, to have a happy life at home, you need to be passionate about what you're doing. To go home every night and be happy and not stressed is the goal. Do whatever it takes to make that happen. 
Don't waste a single second, just move forward as fast as you can and go for it.